Hey guys, this is Ken from jazzhound.com and today we'll be reviewing the Rolex Datejust 41, reference number 126333. We'll be going over the price, the dial, bezel, case, crown, bracelet, class, and we'll talk about the movement towards the end of the video. Okay, so as of, Dece so as of January 1st, 2017, you can get this at a Rolex retailer for $12,700, or you can buy this at Jazz Time for $10,100. <clears throat> if you're interested in having diamond hour markers instead, we also offer we also offer that as well. For, at a Rolex retailer, we sell the diamond uh, diamond hour markers um, for $14,650. At Jazz Time, you can get it for as low as $11,600. It's almost a $1,500 difference. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the dial now. Let's go ahead and review that dial. So the dial is, a, this, this one in particular is a champagne dial with uh, white index markers with a Rolex crown at the 12 o'clock position. These uh, index markers are luminescent for up to eight hours. That is including the hands as well. They have that luminosity at the tips. Um, these mar all these markers are fashioned in 18 karat yellow gold to prevent any tarnishing. And we have the date at the 3 o'clock position with a cyclops lens on top for easier viewing. As you can see from the side here, a little protrusion on the top of the crystal. Uh, specifically for this, one to, uh, this uh, Datejust 41, it's offered in uh, two different uh, two different uh, ways. For the index, they're offered firstly in the index markers, as you see here, and the colors for the index markers you can, or rather, the dial color you can have with index markers, are sh is the champagne, as you see. Uh, also offered in black, silver, and white. Uh, as I mentioned before, you can also have diamond hour markers. And that's offered in the champagne, black, silver, and white as well. There are no Roman and no Arabic uh, index, uh, rather hour markers for the one two for the one two six three three three. Okay. Um, one thing I want to mention is this is the updated, more of the updated version to that date just uh, date just two. Um, in terms of the bezel, you see here the bezel is a nice eighteen karat yellow gold fluted bezel. Shines very nicely, but the bezel is a little little bit tinier than the Datejust the Datejust 2. For the case, we have that same uh, we have this that same Oyster monoblock middle case with screw down case back and winding crown. It is a 41 millimeter uh, 41 millimeter case made out of that 904L steel that Rolex uh, Rolex in house steel. They've updated the case just a little bit to make it. Um, a little more thinner than the date than the date just two, so it has a thinner case, thinner, uh, so not much of a higher profile. Okay. Um, for the crown, for the crown, we have that 18 karat yellow gold crown with that Rolex, um, with that Rolex crown trademark. It is a screw down twin lock and double waterproofness system. Okay, for the crown, it allows you to wind the hands, set the hands, and adjust the date uh, with instantaneous changing, as I'll show you here. As you can see, I've turned the crown counterclockwise to let it pop out. This is the hand winding position, which you can wind the watch 20 to 30 times, no more, as you might damage the internals. A simple tug will pop, pop out the crown once more, and then you can change the date very quickly, very easily, as I've shown here. And the final tug puts the watch in the hand setting position. As you can see, hands are adjusted bi-directionally. The second hands or the hack movement has stopped, allowing for um, exact precise timing. Let's just say you're setting the times via the uh, atomic clock online. You can set the seconds exactly when it starts. Okay, And pushing the crown back in starts that second hand or the hack movement once more. Always make sure to screw the crown back in nice and tightly against the case as it makes this uh, date just waterproof for 100 meters or 330 feet. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the bracelet now. So with the bracelet, we have a, jub a very beautiful Jubilee bracelet with a high polish, a uh, high polish 18 karat yellow gold links down the center. That that contrasts next to that nice brush. Uh, brush steel on the outer portion of the five-piece links. 
Uh, one thing I also want to mention, uh, comparing this to Datejust 2, is that uh, the, the Datejust 41 uh, can be an Oyster or Jubilee bracelet. With the Datejust, with the Datejust 2, you only have the choice of the Oyster bracelet. So it's very nice to have that different choice of bracelet. As you can see, this is the Jubilee bracelet, very beautiful. Uh, pattern only really broken up by the class in, in the center here. A class not very large as not very large but very simple. As you can see that here. It's just a simple folding oyster class with the Rolex name embossed on the clasp blade itself. The clasp blade is a nice high polish. Uh, that's new to 2016, as Rolex has usually used a more of a sandblasted texture on this clasp blade, but now they moved on to the high polish. Okay, so there's that. For the movement on the back here, it's housed in this simple oyster case back and it is a perpetual mechanical self-winding movement, uh, caliber in uh, caliber 3235 movement. It's a uh, Rolex manu Rolex manufactured movement. Has a precision precision of minus two plus two seconds a day, uh, loss or gain, and the functions allow for the center hour minute second hand with the instantaneous changing of the data as, as I've shown you earlier, and that stopping of the seconds for precise time setting. As I explained, for the oscillator, we have a paramagnetic blue parachrome hairspring, and the power reserve for this watch is 70, 70 hours. So you can put this watch down on a Friday evening, pick it up on a Monday, uh, Monday morning or Monday afternoon, and it'll still be keeping time uh, very nicely. Okay, so I want to go ahead and show you this watch on my wrist. See, very simple to easy to use class. Uh, one thing I do want to mention though, if you are interested, there are differences between this uh, between this date uh, this date just 41 and the Rolex date just 2. You can check that out on our YouTube channel. We have a comparison video of the two and you can see the similarities and differences and see which one you would want to go with. But this is the watch on the wrist. as you can see, very nice, very beautiful dial. okay. So if you're interested in this watch or any of the uh, any other models for the lowest possible price, check out our website at jazzham.com. We offer the lowest prices guaranteed, free shipping and a one-year warranty. And if you're interested if you like the video, please like, comment and subscribe below. We have lots more to show you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys soon.